back to my channel. My name is Savannah. I'm the owner and maker of Tumbling with Savannah and I am so glad that you were here today. In today's video I'm going to show you how I made this custom order. This is a tattoo tumbler. So I got these tattoos from Amazon and then I just ombre some glitter on it. That's what the customer requested so that's what she's going to get. I don't take too many custom orders um, anymore. I'm just super busy with making content for this channel and work. But every once in a while, one of some of my special customers that have ordered from me time and time again come back and they want a tumbler and I can't say no. So we're going to take you guys through that whole process. It was so easy to do and I'm absolutely obsessed with using these tattoo tumblers. Thinking about ordering some more, um, maybe for like Halloween or something. I don't know. But anyway, that is it. Um, you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, hit the bell down below so you don't miss any more of our future tutorials. And I will have everything listed and linked down below for you in the description box. And that's it. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so I'm really excited for this one. I've never put tattoos on a Tumblr before. So this was completely new to me. I ended up going and watch a quick tutorial. I was pretty sure how to do it and confident in that, but I just wanted to watch a quick tutorial just to make sure. Um, I will link that video down below. I watched Miss Kiss Creations video. Um, her and Jessica Flynn really taught me everything that I know. No, not everything, but I watched their videos so much when I was first starting out that I feel like they, they taught me everything. So I prepped this tumbler, I um, sanded it, and then gave it a um, quick spray paint of white spray paint. I'm just so like all over the place today, guys. I don't know, but I got these um tattoos from amazon um this was the exact tattoo that she sent me and i found them on there and just ordered them and this cup was so big it was a 40 ounce skinny this cup was huge i think it measured like 11 inches but anyway this whole like full sleeve tattoo was about the whole size of this like the length of this tumbler so I um, trim that up just around the edges and you want to pull off the clear, um, it's not the clear backing, I guess it's the clear front, I don't know what you'd call it. Clear up, pull off that clear paper, trim up your excess, um, but yeah this is pretty straightforward. Basically you do it the same way you would apply it to your skin. So you just place your um, tattoo on there, get a damp paper towel, and soak that um, tattoo on there. But yeah, it is so straightforward, so easy. I will definitely be ordering some more temporary tattoos and doing this on some more designs. Um, I can't believe I'd never done this before. But anyway, it took no time at all to get this paper onto the stumbler. And once you have got it completely dampened, you just peel back that white backing. Um, I would go slow with this. I did get a few cracks. I did get a few little pieces that come up. But they were thankfully at the bottom. And I was putting some glitter over that. So no big deal. But I just took that um, steel damp paper towel. I drained most of it off, like squeezed it off. And then um, just ran that over the tattoo just to smooth anything out. Um, I didn't really have any creases or much to do like you would with a traditional water slide. But I just wanted to smooth it out a little bit. So I let that dry for maybe like five minutes and then I went in and I did the other side. Now one thing I did do this time from different from the first is I trimmed it up closer to um, the length of the cup. 
On the first one, I had too much excess, um, and that kind of got up and over the bottom and the top rim, and I didn't like that. But yeah, so this basically ended up being like a seamless design, and it worked out so well. I let that dry for about 30 minutes, and then I mixed up some epoxy, and I added some of that magic dust from Glitter Craze. Um, you just, if you want, you can use like any nano fine glitter you want, and it just gives it this slightest little sparkle. I absolutely love it. So once I got that all smoothed out, I went in with this um, Chunky Mix glitter. I'll um, have it listed down below. I cannot remember the name of it. But it's just like this silver um, iridescent chunky glitter. It's super pretty. Um, it flashes so gorgeous and it picks up kind of, um, I don't know. You just, I don't know. I don't even know. It's just so pretty. I love it. I use it in a lot. I use it in a lot of my galaxy cups because it just picks up so nice. But I just basically did a simple waterfall ombre on it. Um, I didn't go too heavy on the bottom or into my waterfall ombre. I just gave it a light little sprinkle. I've done some tutorials on ombres and double ombres and water um, fall ombres. So definitely go check those out if you want a more in-depth thing on that. Um, super simple to do. Just turn your cup at an angle and slowly tap in your glitter and go as heavy or as light and as far into the ombre effect as you want. So I let that epoxy layer dry um, and I went over it and epoxied it two more times. And then I was ready to do my rim sanding and clean up the top rim of my tumbler. Um, rim sanding is basically when you expose a fine line of stainless steel around the very top of your um, tumbler. We do this so when we go into a, apply our final coats of epoxy, we have our epoxy has something to adhere to and establish that seal. Once you get all of that done, you will wipe off any sanding dust. I like to use a paper towel and some denatured alcohol. And then I go in and I apply my final coats of epoxy. So yeah, overall, this was super easy to do. Absolutely love it. Absolutely recommend it, trying it. It is perfect for a beginner um, because it's really easy to do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, drop them down below. You know I'm going to help you out. Um, I guess that is it. I don't really know if I have anything else to say. Um, have a great day and we will see you again soon. If you like this video, you can check out our last one here and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, we're all over the place and I'd love to see you over there. Thanks so much for watching.